Deaths from the COVID pandemic are taking both an emotional and financial toll on surviving family members. More than a thousand people have died in Hamilton County alone. One poor lady, she lost two of her brothers. They had to take out loans um, for just even for the cremations and everything. Lisa McCain is the program and development coordinator for Arlington Memorial Gardens in Mount Healthy. She's also now helping with FEMA's new funeral reimbursement program, which could provide up to $9,000 in expenses. Once you gather all of that documentation, you are then going to want to call FEMA's call center. They have a dedicated call center. Um, that phone number, by making that phone call, that is what starts and initiates the application process. Documents include funeral related expenses and most importantly, a death certificate. It must list COVID somewhere on the death certificate. It does not need to be the primary cause of death, but it does have to be listed on the death certificate. The death must have occurred in the United States and families are only allowed one application per deceased individual. The applicant must be a U.S. citizen, non-citizen national or a qualified alien who incurred funeral expenses after January 20th, 2020. FEMA is already warning people to beware of possible fraud. Remember that a FEMA representative will not reach out to a family to start this application process. The family has to initiate the phone call. And you also cannot apply online, so FEMA will never send you an email about this. And we'll have the number to call to initiate this process in this story on our website, WLWT.com.